Okay, so where are we? We are, uh, if you follow the book, we are in section um, 1.4. I'm going to go really fast at 1.4. Uh, because 1.4 is just exponential functions. And uh, I feel like, I feel like I, I don't need to tell you. I don't feel like reviewing this. I feel like starting the course. So feel free to look at the book for review of what exponentials are. I'm pretty sure to some extent you remember, if you remember that three to the fifth is five threes multiplied together. So 243, uh, I hope you remember there was this number called E, which is very special. Maybe you're not sure why, but we'll see why, we'll see in this course why E is the best number to take an exponential off. Uh, so I think the most important thing in this section is the is the algebra. The, the part where um, remember you were the the part with how you manipulate exponents. So, what are the laws of exponents? Um, so, again, if you want a list, you can find them in the book at the one page into 1.4, I think. But you, but here, I mean, here they are. Uh, if I remember all of them. It's going to say more than the book. So what happens when you multiply two powers of the same base? When you multiply two powers of the same base, um, the exponents add together. This is easy to convince yourself of because if I multiply two, two, two threes by three threes, I'm pretty sure you get five threes multiplied together. Um, multiplying by a negative power is one over multiplying by a positive power. Um, I get. I mean, this could be by definition, but also I would really like um, two to the fourth times two to the negative four to be two to the zero. I'm multiplying zero twos together. Definitely has to be, I mean, it's definitely one. So this means that this is, well, if I'm, what do I, what do I need to multiply by 16 to get one? Well, that's four twos in the denominator. <clears throat> Um, if you put these two together, you see that if you have the same base and the exponents um, are subtracted, that's, that corresponds to dividing the corresponding powers. Uh, what happens if you uh, do one power and then another power? What happens is that you multiply the exponents So this is also pretty easy to get convinced in an example. If I uh, take five squared and then I cube it, that means I take two fives and I cube that. So I multiply that by itself three times. I said three, so I, I wrote three. Um, and when I do two things three times, um, the total number of things is is six. 
that's, I mean, this doesn't prove anything, but it's an example to, he works as a, as a mnemonic, you know, and the last, um, the last law says that what happens when you have a product and you take the power of it? Well, that's like multiplying the powers, which it's also easy to convince yourself in an example. Um, take your favorite numbers four times three uh, squared. So this is Four times three squared is four three four three. All multiplied together, and this is the same as four times four times three times three. That's the commutative law of the product, and that's two fours and two threes. There you go. So, um, so what are the laws of exponents? Um, they are like. Uh, I guess, I don't know if there's an, an official list, but there are definitely these. The, the important thing is that they are not others. Um, for example, anything you might feel like making up on the spot, probably not gonna work. And normally with algebra, you can tell if you're doing a right thing or a wrong thing very, you know, with letters, very fast by plugging in numbers and seeing if you got nonsense. But I mean, I think you, you probably, I mean, you've seen this before. And when I tell people, when I tell students about these things, they go, oh yeah, of course, because things make a lot of sense when I'm reciting them to you, but they make less sense um, when you have to do them yourself. Then all of a sudden, <clears throat> it gets a lot more exciting. So I'm gonna, I mean, it's a quiz, but it's an, you're quizzing yourself. I'm gonna give you a bunch of equalities and you tell me which ones are right or wrong. I hope, I think the poll is anonymous. If it's not, I don't know how to check who answered what. So um, there's a bunch of those, a bunch are correct, a bunch are wrong. And I think you, you should be seeing them now. So wherever it says roots, I mean the square roots. Wherever you see a hat, that's a, that's an exponential. <clears throat> so uh, tell me, tell me which ones are wrong. This is so fun. You're gonna be so wrong. And write them on the board in the meantime. Feel free to score yourself as you do this. <clears throat> oh, you have to vote for all of them at once, I see. Then you have to select all the ones you think are right and then hit submit or whatever. So I have, I'm just gonna copy them all. Root y, root x, root y equals root of x, y, the asterisk, is um is a power by the way
so... I forgot where I'm copying. I want to remove the X. So, so far, no option has gotten 100% of the votes. Um, one of them has 0%. <clears throat> uh, if man was a democracy, it would be so entertaining. You should think of making it a democracy. Hope you remember what you answered. So when I tell you, you can tell if you did it right or wrong. I'm going to give you, I don't know if you see the clock, I'm going to give you 40 more seconds. We are at 4 minutes 20 seconds right now. You have until the, you have 5 minutes. I mean, nothing happens if you do it or not do it. play exciting game show music during the poll. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, hooray! And polling. All right, the winner was uh, the first one. <clears throat> okay. So, Maybe if I go like this, that does work. Did I just do a screenshot? Does Zoom stop me from doing screenshots? I think Zoom does. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay. And by look at that, I mean, I stopped sharing the screen. All right. So, um, so that's the poll results. So now, let, so let's, let's see, I mean, How small did I make my programming this? <clears throat> so root x root y. So the 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 oh, the product of the roots is the root of the powers um, of the the root of the product that got seventy eight percent of the vote, which is um, I mean it is true. Maybe not a great result if you think it's a universal truth. Um, so this is true. Why is this true? Well, um, a root is a half power. So why is a root a half power? Um, a root is a half power because if you take the square of the root, you get, by the exponent law, the exponents multiply. That was one of the laws in the, there was this law. 
and that is x to the one and x to the one is multiplying x by itself once. So um, if you take x to the one half, y to the one half, y to the one half, you can, you have the same exponent, you can multiply the bases together. That's where I went, four times three squared equals um, four, three, four, three, which is the same thing as four, four, three, three. All right, so that one is correct. So we got five people who lost this game already. The next one, root x to the y equals um, root x, um, well, y, y in the root, y outside of the root. That one got 22% of the votes, which is, uh, I guess, I guess the democracy didn't fail us yet because this is wrong so far. Maybe I should be scoring you as a class. I mean, not gonna put it in your grade, but I hope I hope the majority was always correct. Um, so uh, this doesn't work. And if an algebra, if an algebra operation doesn't work, you can you can just. You can normally take numbers and, and and see. That's not English. And see that it doesn't work. What if so? What numbers can I take to make my life easy to compute? How about I take x equals two and y equals two? So, no, not x equals two. I want to be able to compute the root of x. So I'm gonna take x equals nine. The root of nine, what am I saying? Oof, I'm so, I'm, I'm, I must be asleep today, so. Root of nine squared is uh, three squared, which is nine. What the, uh, uh. Um, the, so that's nine. On the other side, the root of three squared is, the root of nine, which is three. <clears throat> There you go. So those are not the same. For a second there, so I can guess myself. All right, let's get going. Are there any questions? Why would you should have questions? Or maybe you have technology problems. All right, this is- um, right. In that one, yeah. is the first, is square root of, it says square root of three squared. I, I, are we starting with, is nine supposed to be our X? Oh yeah, what am I doing? Thank you. Oof. Yeah, thank you, holy crap. Uh, X is supposed to be nine, Y is supposed to be two. What's happening with me? Okay. Um, root of x is supposed to be nine. Y is supposed to be two. <laughs> oh my god. So, um, uh, so that's the root of 81 and that's nine. So those are equal. So, I mean, that this was just an example. <laughs> um, and that doesn't mean that they, they're always equal. What's a surprise face? So, um, what happened? So, what, let me write it as x to the one half. So, 
so if I write the root as the one half power, then I have a power of a power, and um, well, when I take a power of a power, that's an that's the product of the exponents. So um, that's the same as x to the one half times y. And over here, I also have a power of a power. So that's the same as x to the y times one half. So if one half times y equals to y times one half, I think so. I think these are equal. So, so democracy was wrong. This was correct. And uh, so far, only five of you are, are alive in this game that we're playing. And I guess, I guess I died too, because I said that X, I forgot what X was. Oh no. Okay, well, I mean, I confused myself there for a second. So, I mean, if you thought that I wasn't gonna make mistakes, that's kind of on you because everyone makes mistakes. Um, and you had no reason to expect me not to. <clears throat> All right, let's keep going. Should have had coffee this morning. Root of x plus y equals root of x plus root y. Uh, the people by, a, by the narrowest margin said that this was oh, you said this was correct. Uh, let's take in some numbers here. This is hard. Uh, I mean, right, someone tell me some numbers. What number should I Are we on the fourth one? I'm on the, I'm on the third one. This Oh, okay, I, I got confused, sorry. I'm here. 16 and four, those are, those are pretty good numbers. I like 16 and nine better, but. <clears throat> Let's say X equals 16, Y equals four. So let's try uh, Jake's suggestion. So root of 16 plus four is uh, root of 16 is, 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 it's a question. Root of 16 plus root of four. So on the left hand side, I have the root of 20. On the right hand side, I have the root of 16, which is four, the positive root of 16 and the root of four, which is two. So is the root of 20 equal to six? Oh, I can't say a thing and write a different thing. Is the root of 20 equal to six? Um, the answer is no, because the square of six is 36, which is not 20. So, um, all right. I am, uh, I'm two for three today, but you guys are one for three. I'm going to move to the next page. Can I just, can I copy this image? No. Oh, no way. 
Um, okay. So. Trying to write this in advance was clearly pointless. Um, I am now in the fourth one, which had the least supports. It had two out of 23 votes. Uh, it said that I can pull it Y SSM out of the root. And the people said no. This was like an X. Let's see if the people, uh, let's see if the people are correct. I think, okay, I can, we think it's wrong. Let's put in some numbers and see if it's wrong, uh, if it's actually wrong. Let's make, what if we make X equals zero and Y equals number with a square root, uh, nine with an easy square root. Is the root of zero plus nine equal to the root of zero? Plus the root of nine. Uh, well, this is the root of nine, which is three. And this is nine. And nine is not e does not equal three. So this is actually wrong. And 21 of you were correct about this. Um, all right. That one, that one, I guess, wasn't confusing. The next one, root of x plus y equals the root of y plus x. That one had a lot of supports. Probably not enough because this one, this one, I am definitely just to make it clear. This is wrong. Uh, I am definitely convinced that it's true because. Um, I mean, definitely X plus Y is the same as Y plus X. So, um, so you take the square root and there, you take the square root of the same number, you get the same number. I mean, we're supposed to be taking the positive square roots, both sides. So, For sure, this is true. Any questions? All right, you guys are three, four, five. Um, one over root x is x to the negative one half. Uh, oh, yeah, three, four, five. Um, that one. Most of you thought it was true. One over root x equals x to the negative one half. Um, is this true? Yes, this is true. And you thought it was true and you were correct about that. One over root x is one over x to the one half. Um, and this was just one of the one of the laws I wrote. This one is not like that on the book, but one over the power is the negative power that has the opposite exponent. So there you go. That one is correct. Four for six. Um, one over root x equals root of 1 over x equals root of 1 over x. You said overwhelmingly that this is wrong. Uh, let's, let's write this as a power and see. No, I said if it's wrong, I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be trying a number. So give me a number. What's x? What do I make x? Four. Four. That's a good choice. So is one over root four equal to the root of one over four? 
Well, root of 4 is 1 half. Um, and what is the root of 1 fourth? Well, is it 1 half? Yes, because um, the root of 1 fourth is 1 half because 1 half squared is 1 fourth. So, I mean, either this was a coincidence, Shai said five. Um, either this was a coincidence or, or this is actually correct. Let's try x equals five. Um, so is one over root five equal to root one over five? Well, I don't know how to, I know what this square root is, but you know who, who does? Google. Uh, the square root of one over five is so the the right hand side is point four four seven two, and the left hand side is one over square root of five which looks like the same number to me. Oh boy, what are the odds? So, um, so I'm not gonna keep trying. I think this is true. Um, let me try. So what if I write, this is, one over x to the one half and the other side. So the other side is one over x and then everything has the power of one half. Uh, well, this is x, for, what do I wanna do? This is, well, did I, I didn't write this as a, as a rule, but I mean, where do I start here, I guess. So this is x to the negative one half. Um, if you like, maybe to just to do it in a different way, this is x to the zero divided by x to the one half. And this is x to the zero minus one half, which is x to the negative one half. So is this x to the negative one half? Well, one over x is x to the negative one power, negative first power. And when you, so so one over x to the power one half is really is taking two powers. Uh, first the negative first power, then the one half power. So if you take two powers, you multiply the exponents Right, um, that was that was one of the rules. So these two are actually always equal. So, oh my God. Oof. So, or um, was that the price is right? More sad from bones. I don't know if it's a trombone. So um, you all are four for seven. Uh, next one is x over root y equals root of x squared over y. And that one with very little supports again. Um, X over root Y equals 
root the root of x squared over y. This is getting so exciting. <clears throat> so you said it was, uh, so you said this was wrong. So let me try some numbers and see if you're wrong. Um, what numbers should I try? Give me numbers that will make this easy. Four and nine. Four and nine, yeah, good choice. Uh, my X looks like a Y. So, uh, is four divided by root nine equals to the root of four squared divided by nine? Uh, well, this is four thirds. This is the root of four squared divided by three squared. Um, this is true. So um, it's, it looks like this is gonna be correct. Um, I don't think we were so lucky. <clears throat> Let's do the thing where we write it as, as powers. So x, so this is x to the first power and then one over multiply by one y to the one half power and a positive power in the denominator is the same as the opposite power in the numerator now on the other side we have the a square root which i'm just gonna keep there for now um and this is well y to the one in the denominator is the same as y to the negative one in the denominator. And the square root is just the one half power. And what happens if I take the product of two things and I take a power of them, well, I get the product of the powers. <clears throat> um, so that is x squared to the one half times y to the negative one to the one half. And what happens when I take one power and then another? Well, the exponents multiply. Um, and if I multiply these exponents, I'm pretty sure I get x to the one times y to the negative one half. Okay, so these are both, um, so these, these are the same. So this one was correct. You guys are four for eight. Um, so next one. Is X squared Y squared equals X Y squared. And this one was voted yes by 57% of people. So um, this is correct um, because you multiply you multiply two powers and and you get. The, uh, if they have the same exponent, 
you can multiply, then take the power, or take the power, so then multiply. So, perfect. Five for nine. And the last one. was y x y plus z squared equals root x times y plus root x times z squared. Uh, and that one you said was wrong. Um, it's not going to be wrong. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to not let you choose numbers because you're going to make it, you're going to make this hard for me. I'm going to choose, um, uh, okay, sure. Choose numbers. What numbers do I make? What do I make X, Y, and Z? X two. Y four. Z. Z six. Six. Thank you, Autumn. Uh, so that would um, so here. I would have to check if I have two times ten squared equals root two times four plus root two times six squared so this is two times ten squared which is 200 um and well let's see if the the other part is 200 you know what that's what we'll do this as well um root two times four plus root two times six squared is 200. All right. So this is 200. It seems that it's exactly 200. So mm, this was probably correct. So can I, so what algebra can I use to see if this is correct? i give you a hint. So I'm going to start on the right side. Yeah, let's start on the right side. <clears throat> what can I do with this? There's so much algebra in this course. So many times that I'm going to ask that question. So what did you do in your algebra class when you saw a sum of two things that are multiplied by the same, by the same thing, both of them? So the important bit here is that there's a root of x on both summons. What can I do with that? Oh, or a test, rather. The test of the question is going to be written like they are on the polls, or are they going to read them like they wrote them on the board? On a test. So on the final exam, it's going to be like the stuff you see in grade school. Like you'll write it on a paper, and you have to submit your work on a test take a picture with your phone or scan it and upload it. On a test, I don't care about the answers, uh, mostly. I care about the work you do. Here, I care, I mean, first of all, I, I have no way of asking you to show work, but also I'm doing the poll thing because at least I find it entertaining. Um, Someone help me. What do I do with this thing, with this thing? Y 
you can isolate, separate the root X. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Pascal. So um, I'm going to ignore ignore the square for now. Just leave it there and see what I can do to the stuff inside the square. So if I have the same thing multiplying two things that are added together, I can pull that out by the distributive law of the sum. Um, or if you like going from here to here, you get there by multiplying it out. This is the distributive law. So now I have a product of two things uh, and then to uh, to a square power. And I know that if I multiply two things and square them, that's the same thing as multiplying the square. So that is the same as root x squared times the square of y plus z. And I know that the square root of the, of the root, if x is positive, is just the number I started with. So, um, box method. I've never heard of that. Um, but anyway, I started on the on one side and I finished on the other, and everything in the middle is equal. So, so these are equal. So you also got this wrong as a democracy. Um, that was um, that was four for ten. Uh, what's the box method, Matthew? My old question. Oh, distributing. Uh, there was the, the chat said box method, and I wasn't sure what that was. Okay, never heard of that by that name. So, um, okay, I didn't think I would spend the whole class with this, but I guess I hope it was a good review. Um, congratulations to the five of you at most who got everything right. You did great. Uh, to the rest doesn't matter, nobody cares. Um, I mean, I hope you learned something. I, uh, I thought it would go a bit better. I wasn't, I mean, I know it's basically Monday morning and I know you haven't taken math in a while, most of you. So hopefully things are coming back to your memory. And I mean, the most important thing to remember is that if you're not sure about an algebra thing, normally you're putting numbers and you can check and you can have a pretty good guess if it works or not. Um, I don't know. I never know when students, college students make algebra mistakes if they're doing it confidently or they're taking a guess. Um, if you're taking a guess, then you know you're taking a guess, so it's fine. You know there's a chance you're wrong if you're not taking a guess. Uh, then learn to doubt yourself. All right, uh, well, let me know if there's any questions. In principle, oh, 